Also in related news, in a residential area in northern Yangon, Myanmar, a fire devastated 36 houses, leaving 150 people homeless. Upon receiving the news, city volunteers immediately distributed clothes and other materials, giving these survivors a new start. Let's take a look. The fire broke out in the early morning at about 5 o'clock. At the crack of dawn, Zhiji volunteers in Yangon immediately visited the disaster area to conduct disaster relief. Local people are relying on fishing to survive, with the fire burning all their belongings, also making it difficult to continue. The road here is very narrow and can only accommodate one fire engine. Every household is close by, probably only 30 centimeters apart, so it was hard to extinguish the fire. In the resettlement center, volunteers recorded the needs of the affected families and quickly purchased supplies and mobilized manpower to pack them. The next day, the distribution was made immediately so that the 36 affected families can temporarily overcome their immediate difficulties. We work hard our whole life to build this home, and one night it is all gone. We are quite sad, but thankful for your aid distribution. Because of your encouragement, the sadness in my heart has lessened a lot. Performing the Ziji song, We Are Family, led many to shed tears. 28-year-old Ma Ting Ting Kleong escaped with her two children and also helped save her neighbor's dozen children. At that time, the fire spread to my back and there was only one adult here as I was busy trying to call out to the children. I didn't care for my own safety as I later found out my foot was injured. Her son was also injured as volunteers showed their concern for his injuries and also appeased the hearts of this entire family. This torch burnt our home, which is really sad, but fortunately your help has been good for us as we can appreciate these materials. So Ji's timely care has helped these survivors endure this difficult time and give them the confidence and courage to rebuild their homes.